This is Jacob Johnson. He is the founder of Cali and Wax Company. Uh, you're based here in the local area in Arlington, right? Yes, yeah, just 30 minutes south of yeah. here. Yeah, so it was awesome that you could come out here and be with us. Uh, we're excited about this. Yeah. Very Thank excited. Thank you. About Super it. excited to be here in the studio. That's oh right. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bright lights. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, so tell us a little bit. How did you, what made you start Callion? Uh, you know, what made you want to uh, start candles? You know, all that stuff. Tell us your background. Right. The biggest question is, Jacob, why candles? Yeah. And I, I did not grow up obsessing with candles, like some would assume. Uh, but more, uh, so it was a variety of events throughout my life that I felt God was leading me in certain directions and molding me and kind of preparing me to jump into this a sea of soy wax. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. A sea and, of soy wax. Yes. I like Hopefully it. we don't count. Like uh, yeah. yeah. So you know, in in late high school, um, I, I witnessed firsthand uh, the really the effects of human trafficking um, on um, uh, someone I, I know really closely, and just to see uh, how the the struggle um, is really a lifelong journey. Yeah, I think that really softened my heart to the, the issue of human trafficking, which we'll get to. I kind of started with the, yeah. the social mission. How do we get to candles here? Uh, and then throughout um, college, I went to a, a, a passion conference where we learned through the Indent Movement, which is the red X's on your hands. It's a big awareness uh, campaign for the issue of slavery and human trafficking, um, basically saying, that, hey, it still exists. Uh, it's something that we may have thought, just kind of, we check that box, it's, it's a way. It's alive and well, yeah. and, uh, and something should be done about it. And so I got the wheels turning a little bit. Always been interested in business. I've always been selling things, and really felt led to, to create a business that um, invited the everyday person to uh, become a social advocate against human trafficking specifically. It's a heart that tugged in my, at my heart, or an issue that tugged in my heart. And it's an issue that we can really all agree, uh, it shouldn't exist. It's very black and white, yep. um, that slavery has, slavery has no place yeah. um, today. And so Callion uh, started with that idea of, hey, a simple way to combat human trafficking. What about a product that we could craft ourselves, something that could be affordable to most people, um, and that you are already used to. You, you know candles, you've been burning them for forever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we set it on candles as the product to really fuel this mission. Um, and so some, we, we craft the soy candles in Arlington, just 30 minutes south of here, and then we give back to trusted nonprofits. Since we've started, it's been one specific nonprofit, Traffic 911, based in Addison, Texas. Okay. We have a really close relationship with them. We trust them with our funds that we're donating. And they've been able to do some really incredible work here in the US uh, against human trafficking, yeah. which all goes back to someone enjoying a candle. Right. So it's really cool to see that impact of a simple soy candle leading to this great grand social mission. Yeah, well, I love your story because mm -hmm. when we talk about social entrepreneurs, I mean, that's it. That is the story, right? I see a right. problem. I want to solve it. I think the best way to solve it is to start a business and create a product, right? I mean, that's, right. you did it. That mm -hmm. is like textbook, <laughs> what you've you. done. Yeah. yeah. One of the things I'm, uh, that you, you mentioned there, but we've got several of our brand partners that are, you know, their cause it has to do with sex trafficking, human trafficking. Right. You focus, if I'm hearing you right, you focus uh, mostly, if not entirely, at least currently, on what occurs within the United States. Most of our other partners are, are, are focused on what's happening maybe in India or Nepal or things like that. Right. But you're looking, what's happening in the U.S., which I think a lot of times we assume, well, it doesn't happen here. Right. Yeah. Right. No, that's a really good point to make. We uh, wanted to bring it really hyper-focused home, uh, to the home. And right now, specifically in the North Texas area, as we grow, we hope to fund uh, anti-trafficking operations all over the U.S. Um, so that when you're buying a candle, you know that I am helping survivors just down the road yeah. in, the, in the big metroplex or in the small towns all throughout America. We really want to say hyper-focus so that you really can see the impact. Um, we didn't want to spread out too far, at least at the beginning, so that you can see that, hey, because of me buying this candle, this specific survivor was given hope and um, was partnered with an advo advocate that is, is with them through their whole healing journey. You get to really see the gritty details of what your purchase is making, and that's what, that's what fuels us, and, wow. and that's what fuels mm. the candle. I gotta say, that's really what fires me up about the product. When we first talked, I, I mean, I love product, I loved the smell, I loved your right. packaging, how it's kind of masculine, but yet very pretty, right. but then getting to know you and hearing the story, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, behind what you guys are doing, it is just that much more amazing and meaningful and just, this could just be pink. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it just gets you so excited about it and I just can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let, let's talk about your, your product. So why right. do people love your candles? <laughs> yeah, you know, a worthy social mission is, is the top priority, but we want to couple that with a, a product you can get excited about and that you'd love to use. Yeah. And so we, we definitely, first and foremost, wanted it to be a natural product. Uh, we want it to be clean burning for your home, for your children. And so we really start with just a, a base of natural soy wax. There's no paraffin. Not everybody knows paraffin soy wax, mm -hmm. but there's an alternative there that a lot of standard candles have been made with for a long time. And we wanted to go very simple, just natural soy wax made from soybeans, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then the fragrance is very clean burning, um, fail it free, uh, infused with essential oils to give it a really clean, natural fragrance. Yeah. And then just plain cotton wicks. So it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, we want to keep it very simple, straightforward. That's the Callion brand. And that's what you see here. Same with our design here. We wanted it to be fun for men and women to enjoy our product. Um, they are designed to match most decor out there. Um, and then lastly, these specific ones are um, made from drinking tumblers. Um, you guys just got done talking about Cos drink tumblers, right. uh, and these specifically are, are for dinner time. Yeah. But uh, wash out with soap and water, so we actually wash out with soap and water, and you're able to reuse it for your, your evening drink. All okay. about versatility. So we That's yeah, we wonderful. love that. Re you re reusability. Yeah. As yeah, well. and, and Gretchen, remind me, yes. so what are the scents that we're launching with well, in the marketplace? I, there's yeah. one in particular I would love to talk about, which yeah. is Devoted. Yeah. We have an what? exclusive <laughs> right. scent to Devoted. Yes. So thank you for that. Can you talk to us a little bit about that scent and what it smells like and the properties uh, behind it? Yeah, absolutely. We're excited to make an exclusive product just for this Devoted launch. We feel the, the both of our companies are just so intertwined with how we think about business and products, and so we're excited to have a Devoted candle. This one specifically, is got uh, notes of amber, of sage, a hint of lavender, and also a hint of grapefruit. So you have a, a little bit of a citrus to it. Uh, very palatable for most noses, um, and kind of earthy, floral, and a hint of hint of sweet there too. So it nice. kind of gets everything together for just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. You know, one thing I want to add real quick is I'm kind of picky when it comes to scents because yeah. <clears throat> sometimes they can get very overpowering. Absolutely. These are not like that at right. all. They have just the right amount. And so when it's burning, it doesn't overpower the room. They're, you've done a really good job with just keeping it right in the center there. Well, thank really you. Yeah, nice. we, we get a lot of feedback with that. We want it. We want you to smell it, of course. That's what candles are for. But we don't want to give you a headache. Yeah. yeah. And we want to balance that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Jacob, thank you for being here with us. This is great. You know, you're, and your business is growing. You just opened a new facility, right? The production capabilities are up. So affiliates, heat is ready for you.